look, it's funny to me how everybody's going on this Freddie Roach is a racist thing. Um, it's just, to me, it's like, look, the people who are saying it actually know Freddie Roach is not a racist. It's not. You met racist people before. You know how racist people are. A racist person wouldn't even go that. That's not even a race thing. It's it's people talked different back in their day. I mean, back in the twenty, thirty years ago, is that even a racial term? Hey, you Mexican. Hey, you this and that. Or, or you effing Mexican and this and that. He didn't know their names, couldn't remember them, so he just said it. You know, Freddie have not a race issue. He has anger issues, and he has an ego problem. That's his biggest problem. <coughs> Even though Freddie's a retired fighter, he still has a lot of built-up fighter in him. And because he has all that built up fighter in his system, he still looks at himself as a fighter. So, when he got into it with Alex, his first aggression is to attack. Um, he was at a FedEx uh, place, got in a fight there. He got in a fight, um, another fight in LA at a, at a mall. And he assaulted another guy down some steps. He uh, he had a road rage incident. I mean, Freddie Roach has about seven, not just saying in a year. I'm saying periodically that made the papers or that were talked about that he had to eventually go to court for. You know, and then, um, you know, the, the judge will say, well, this is Freddie Roach. Or oh, this guy tried to sue Freddie for an assault. And Freddie would win the case just based off his Parkinson's. He would play off his Parkinson's and say, oh, there's no way I could physically do these things. You know, and and that's wrong. Because I think Freddie Roach need anger management. He needs it badly. He needs to be in those classes. And if you're going to be a trainer, I understand you need to be ferocious, but you can't hurt your fighter. And this is why you don't get in these type of situations. You're in, a, you're in China. You're in a whole different country. As Bob Aram said, do you know what they would do? This is, you're talking about pressing charges and I want them arrested. This is not America. Pressing charges in China and having somebody arrested, they might chop Alex's arm off. <laughs> Well, you said he started it when he kicked you. Foot down. You know, it's a whole different type of judicial system. You know, they they not gonna be like the trial's gonna start and all this stuff, and he could just post bail and he's out. This is this is China. Boxer went there for thirty years, and you, this is not the kind of look you want to give it. Trainers train, fighters fight. Let that go the way it should. And I'm not excusing Alex Ariza for what he did. Alex Ariza, what he did was horrible. You don't make fun of someone's illness. I don't care if you're in the midst of anger or not. You don't make fun of someone's uh, sickness and illness. You know, and that's a serious thing. Parkinson affects everyone else. And we know you weren't trying to offend anybody with Parkinson's. It was your anger towards Freddie. But there's a way to deal with that, and that wasn't the right way to do it. So, I mean, I, I've seen everybody still talking about the race thing, though. Going back to that, why is everybody so like honed in on that? As far as like Freddie's the racist because he said effing Jew. I mean, Jewish people pride themselves on calling themselves Jews. Because he's a effing Jew, does that make it a racial term? I I, I don't know. To me, 
I mean, it's like they can really go deeper into that. They're not really Jews. So yeah, I guess he, I guess he was offended, you know, because <laughs> they're not really Jews at all. They would like to be, but that's for another day. And on that note, just wanted to clarify some things. Freddie Roach is an asshole. Yes, he is. But he is not a racist. Deuces.